What's up peeps and welcome back to Surreal Plays. The project today, I bought these jeans and I'll show you what I think is the problem with them. Right, so I like ripped jeans, but you can see that the rips are actually vertically instead of horizontally. And I find that a little bit ugly when I put them on. Same on that side. So I thought this was a perfect excuse because they are otherwise very nice jeans. I like the top and everything. They're really nice at the back as well. Perfect excuse for bling. So, the camera so you can see what I'm doing. This is the stuff I've got and the plan is I'm going to use some of these pearls and diamonds to bling them up. Some of these are old bracelets, like these ones. But I never wear them, so how good would they look on the jeans? I've also got this one. And I'm going to incorporate some pearls, and I've got some Swarovski crystals. I had a lot more of these. I don't know what I've done with them. And I'll show you what we're going to use to do it. I've got some cotton thread. I've got white, um, and I also got blue, so that both match with the jeans and I can decide which colour I'm using where. Um, obviously you need some scissors, I've got some tweezers for threading the beads and all the fiddly stuff. So I'm just going to kind of play it by ear. I thought this would look nice if it was just kind of hanging. And I've got elasticated thread, which is lovely stuff. Strong and stretchy. Um, and I'm going to thread these, uh, some of these beads and pearls into it. This was an old bracelet that I made, but it snapped. So I thought, right, I'm going to keep the uh, crystals and stuff. Look at that. I mean, that would look nice on there, just as it is. So I'm just going to stitch it using the ends or the end beads. We'll see how that goes anyway. But what what the plan is, that over the, you know the rips so what we're going to do is use the stretchy stuff over the hole so when they do stretch this stretches with them i don't know how these are going to wash hopefully they're going to wash well enough these little bracelets are also stretchy so if i just cut them in half i'm going to have a mixture of hanging so the plan is we're going to have a mixture of hanging um or dangling <sighs> my cheeky monkey in the background look at him um so we're gonna have a mixture of hanging um pearls and beads and also ones that stretch over the tear and i'm planning to tear this a little bit more and if you've ever tried this trying to snag jeans is the worst job ever so we're gonna have a go at it this could take me a long time but we're going to do our best. So basically, we need to see a little bit of skin behind the pearls and diamonds. And I think that's going to make all the difference. Because putting it on just the denim is not really going to do what I want. So, let's get started. So, first things first, let's get cutting. I'm a bit nervous about this because I don't want to end up doing something I'm going to regret. But I'm not going to wear these jeans like this. So, we're going to take a chance. I don't really like jeans with massive holes in them. And then we're going to try, oh god, can't believe I've done it. And I haven't really planned what to do here, how to do it. But they're going to be like the size of this cut here. <laughs> okay, looks a bit dubious at the moment. And let's see if we can just soften this a little bit by taking off some of the bits okay that's fraying quite easily i'm glad and it'll be nice to have a little bit of the phrase kind of poking up through the pearls and stuff this is going well i actually used to make jewelry sold a lot of it i've still got loads left behind don't really know quite what i'm going to be doing with them but i might have to actually do a video on making jewellery if you want to see that comment down below I can always prioritise it we don't want it to look neat this is the point 
these are ripped jeans after all the other thing I'm thinking is that once I've added this bling on I might actually have to put a bit of bling somewhere else on the jeans and I was thinking maybe on the loops I don't wear belts so that could add a little bit of interest at the top or maybe just on the top of the pockets I don't know I don't want it to look too much either because and I find that plain and simple always ticks boxes for me. We've got a huge square hole that looks like a TV at the moment. So we need to get on with covering that up. A tip I learnt while I was making jewellery is use some clear nail varnish just on the knot. Coat it fully with the nail varnish and just let it dry. It shouldn't take too long. It dries like a big crystal ball. Needle here. It helps to cut the end of the string off so you can thread it and just double up on it and make a little knot at the end. Start from the underneath so you don't see any ugly stitching. We're going to go through that a couple of times just so it's strong. Let's start threading these pearls through. So I'm going to um, do a mixture of just pearls, crystals as well as pearls, and diamonds as well as pearls and crystals as well. So we're going to have a little bit of a mixture going on here. Let's start with pearls first, just pearls. Oh, one just flew off. I think my knot's too small. I'm going to speed this up so you don't get bored waiting until I finish one length. So it's actually a bit later than it was when I started filming this video, um, but look how good they look. Can't wait to try them on. I'm actually going to stitch these because they look bad. And I'm going to use um, white thread so that it looks like the ones up here. So I'm going to do that 
and then I'm going to add more bling you can never have too much bling and I'm going to show you how they look okay guys so I'm done I'm going to put them on and show you how they look okay are you ready for this not the best camera angle I know I know but look at that how beautiful does that look and then we've got the little detailing here at the top I'm loving these I do not regret doing it for a moment the diamonds that aren't stretchy these ones that I decided to put on at the last moment they are kind of problematic but because the jeans are stretchy I think they'll be all right okay guys that is the video i hope you enjoyed that i hope that helps you out with your future jean projects let's bling them up for summer thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed already please do share with your friends see you on the next video peace out